Good morning, boys and girls. I'm teacher Rigan here. Uh, once again, welcome to Easy Limu, where learning is simplified. So in our previous sessions, we had introduced the topic of prime numbers. But if you can remember, I gave you some work uh, to identify the prime numbers between the interval 50 to 100. So I've decided to discuss this further because I've realized most of us normally confuse some of the odd numbers between the very interval with prime numbers. So just to remind ourselves, we said that a reminder of our prerequisite, a reminder, we said that prime numbers, prime numbers are numbers, are numbers, numbers, with only two devices. In other words, these are numbers, if you express these prime numbers as a product of its prime factor, or if you highlight the factors of a particular number that is considered to be prime, there will only be two. And those factors are one and the number itself. Numbers with only two devices, which is which is, which are one and the number itself. For example, uh, if a number, if a number x is a prime number, if a number x is a prime number, then its factors, then its factors or devices, then its factors or devices are the number itself which is x and 1. The number itself which is x and 1. So this is what we said is the meaning of a prime number. Now when it comes to identifying the prime numbers between the interval 50 to 100, uh, most of us, we are fond of making a mistake or rather confusing between odd numbers and prime numbers between these very intervals. Most students are so good when it comes to identifying the prime numbers between 1 to 20 or 1 to 50. But when it comes to 50 to 100 onwards, most of us tend to mix up both odd and uh, prime numbers. So uh, I want us to identify the prime numbers between the said interval, prime numbers between interval 50 to 100. Let me see those who did the homework. Yes, Ashlyn, you did the work? Good. So what, are, what, what was your first prime number between the interval 50 to 100? Yes, 51. She's saying 51, is that right, class? Not really, because 51 has got three factors of devices, that is three. Three can actually divide 51 uh, 17 times. We have another factor, which is one, and the number itself, which is 51. So that is not uh, a prime number between 50 to 100. So what will be our first prime number between 50 to 100? Yes? Yes, John? Good, 53. So the first prime number between 50 to 100 is 53. The next one, let's continue in the same spirit. After 53, do we go to 55? No, 55 is actually an odd number. It is divisible by 11. It can also be divided by 1 and 55 itself. So that is not a prime number. What about 57? Yes, Mary, is 57 a prime number? No, very good, because 57 is also divisible by 1, 57 itself, and 3. Good. So the next prime number after 53, within 50 to 100, is 59. Correct? After 59, we go to 61. After 61, we go to 67. Let's continue. Yes, Peter, after 67, what is our next prime number between 50 to 100? Yes, 69. Not really. 69 is not a prime number between 50 to 100, though it's a odd number. Why is it not a prime number? Because we have three 
as its divisor. We have 1 and 69 itself. So those are three factors. So the next one after 67 is 70. Someone tell me, is it 71? Let's try and divide 71 by 3 and see if 71 is actually a prime number. So 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 7, 2 times. You get 6, remainder 11. So 11 and this one makes, 1 and this one makes 11. So it's actually not divisible by 3. So 71 is a prime number between 50 to 100, correct? After 71, yeah, we have 73. After 73, someone is saying 75. Celestine, that's right. Is 75 a prime number between 50 to 100? Is it a prime number, class? Good, not really. 75 is not a prime number because it is actually divisible by 3, it is divisible by 5, it is divisible by 1, and 75 itself. So 75 will not belong here. So after 73, we are moving to 79. Someone is saying 77, not really. 77 is divisible by 11, 1, and the number 77 itself. So from 79, which is the next prime number between 50 to 100? From 79, between 50 to 100, 83, very good, 83. Don't say 81, 89 is, one is actually divisible by 3. So after 83, we go to 87. After 87, we go to 97. So these are the prime numbers between the interval 50 to 100. Note that, note the following, 51, 51, 57, after 57, um, 57, 63, I'm picking the ones that most of us normally confuse with the prime numbers between this particular interval, 51, 57. Most of us also confuse uh, 81, the prime number, and 91. These are not, these are not prime numbers. between 50 to 100. Kindly take note of that. So next time when you are asked to highlight the prime numbers between 50 to 100, you really have to be very, very keen. If you, you actually, you don't have to cram this. You don't have to cram this. All you need to do is to perform out the basic testing rule. How do you do that? Just try and highlight the factors of that particular number. The moment you realize it has got more than two factors, then it is no longer a prime number. Later on, we shall discuss another group of numbers known as composite numbers. And you realize that composite numbers are numbers with more than two factors, three factors going onwards. So you realize most of the composite numbers are not prime numbers. So from there, someone can ask you this very simple question. Someone can ask you, this very, very simple question regarding prime numbers. In most cases, yeah, you'll be asked to list them, but what if I decide to give you this very simple question? Question. What is the product? What is the product of the list prime number and the highest prime number between 50 to 100. What is the product? What is the product of the least prime number and the highest prime number between 50 to 100? A very simple question. 
So all you need to appreciate what is the meaning of the word product, what is the meaning of the word least, and the highest. Product simply means that you, you have to multiply the least prime number between that interval and the highest prime number that you can find within that interval. So according to our prime numbers here, the ones that we have highlighted so far, what is the least prime number within that interval? Yes, Mary? 53, correct. 53 is the least prime number. So our least solution, solution, so our least prime number, allow me to use the initials, our least prime number between that interval is 53, and our highest prime number between that interval is 97. And we know that, we know that, we know that product, product means multiplication, multiply. So this is 53 times 97, 53 times 97. So we are going to multiply, you need to be well conversant or well acquainted with your multiplication table. That is something you discussed in grade five, four, and six. So, yes, Peter, what is the product of three and seven? 21, correct. So we write one, carry two. Seven by five, yes, Christine, 35, correct. Then we add two, so 35 plus two, that is 37. We write 37. Then we come to this other digit, nine by three, yes, 27, correct. So we write seven, sorry, we write seven, carry two. Nine by five, yes, Ashlyn, 45, 45 add to 47. So we have 47 there. So we have 1, 14, carry 1. This is 3 plus 1, 4, 4 add 7, that is 11. Write 1, carry 1. The one we have carried, we are adding it to 4. Then you get 5. So the product of the least prime number and the highest prime number between 50 to 100 is 5,141. Next question. Another interesting question that you can find in exams regarding prime numbers. An examiner can decide to say, an examiner can decide to ask you this question. We can call it question two. Question two, an, an examiner can decide to ask you this question. What is the product? Call this your question one. This is question two. What is the product? What is the product of the least prime number? and the highest the highest prime number prime number what is the product of the least prime number and the highest prime number Not really. I wanted it to be, what is the product of the least prime number and the highest prime number? Yeah. The highest prime number in the, between, between, between one to 100, between the interval one to 100. So solution, In this case, the interval has expanded and therefore it will accommodate our very first prime number, or in other words, our least prime number. So normally, what is the least prime number between the interval one to 100? Yes, Celine, two, correct. So the least prime number, prime number is always two. 
And of course, the highest prime number within the interval 1 to 100 is 97. My highest prime number is 97. Allow me to use the initials, highest prime number. So therefore, the product, the product will be 97 times 2. 97 times 2, this implies 97 multiplied by 2. That's 14, 18 plus 1, 19. So, so the product of the least prime number and the highest prime number between the interval 1 to 100 is actually 194. So there are quite an avalanche of questions that you can encounter uh, from prime numbers. Some can be between the interval of 10 to 20. What, is the what are the first 10 prime numbers between the interval 10, 1 to 50? You know, you just have to test. Write the number, try and get its factors. So long as the factors are two, which must be one and the number itself, then that particular number is a prime number. So just before I end on this, uh, there is, a, there is a, a simple rule that I want us to take note of. There's a simple rule that I would like us to take note of. Before maybe I say it, someone who can tell us the relationship between odd numbers and prime numbers. Is there a relationship between prime numbers and odd numbers generally? Someone to try? Yes, Peter? Yeah? That's a good trial. Maybe we can say a simple rule between prime numbers, between prime numbers, prime and odd numbers, and odd numbers. So we can say all prime numbers apart from two, all prime numbers, all prime numbers apart from two are odd numbers. All the prime numbers apart from the number two are odd numbers. You can actually check that uh, during your free time. But not all odd numbers, not all odd numbers are prime numbers, are prime numbers. All the prime numbers apart from two are actually odd numbers, but not all, not all odd numbers are prime numbers. Kindly take note of that so you don't get confused between the two. So just to summarize on this, allow me to give you a few questions, a uh, few questions that can test you on prime numbers. Few questions that you can use to further revise on the same. You don't need to cram the prime numbers, just identify the factors, so long as the factors uh, one and the number itself, then that is a prime number. Exercise, just two questions. Exercise, number one. What is the sum? What is the sum of the first 15 prime numbers between 1 to 100. Number two, calculate, calculate the difference, the difference between the list prime number, the least and the highest, the least and the highest prime number 
between seventy to a hundred. Kindly take time and answer those questions and many more questions that you can uh, get access to through your reference materials and internet. Otherwise, this marks the end of our today's session uh, concerning prime numbers between 50 to 100. I wish you all the best as you try to do that exercise.